Hello and welcome to whatever this is. So today I'm painting a family portrait and I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what I what my process is. So first my desk is extremely messy. So majority day to day I work as an illustrator. So I do pet portraits, uh, family portraits, um, some of my favourite, well I enjoy doing them all really, but um, I especially enjoy doing uh, nautical themed paintings um, and realism, but sometimes nothing beats a lovely family portrait and I do it in a illustration style with watercolours and I've been doing this for the past six years now and it's that along with my writing is my passion so without further ado we are going to work on this portrait today so this lovely couple contacted me or well, the husband contacts me asking to do uh, a gift for his wife and more than happy to do this because they've got this really beautiful boat I don't know if it's Westerly I've forgotten what it is but it's them with their yacht and it makes me really excited for them because I know they're gonna go on this journey together and I get to do a bit of everything family portrait including painting this boat and one of my favourite things to do is a beautiful border around. So, I'm going to tell you about my process as I do it. And um, yeah, let's get started, eh? So what I'm going to start doing is creating the skin tone first. So what I do, I first off I create their skin tone, uh, I check out the photo to see what sort of undertones they've got on the skin, because even though this isn't an illustrated style portrait, um, it's still important to be as on point as you can as possible to make it look like them, else there's no point. So this is my palette, I don't bother cleaning these because they're always colours that I reuse. I have my paper here in the background so I can test out skin colour. And I'll just do a base of it first. As you can see, I've already done the outline and then I've gone over an ink. And I'm now just checking the photograph to see what sort of tones they have in the skin. So. They can be like yellowish tones or reddish tones, uh, depending on what sort of skin type you've got. And then I'll pack on the base layers, which is the colours, and try and figure out what clothing colours are going to be most complementary to the piece. So sometimes some people will send me a photograph of people wearing like very patterned clothes or like played or whatever, and they're not always complementary to the overall image or the colour scheme because who dresses according to a you know a colour scheme you don't always dress to complement the other person's shirt are you so uh, here I am just filling out the border I find that a green border full of sort of nature themes flowers and leaves that are um, pretty much my favourite part to capture really brings out the blues of whatever ocean scene that I'm capturing. Here we are, I've decided on a pink. I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to do more pinks and more lilacs, but all I know is it's quite exciting. Here I am putting in a bit of rope detail to keep the nautical themes and putting in some lovely tropical flowers. What am I doing now? Maybe I'm having a break. Ooh. Put some more depth on there. Put 
and I had a lot of fun doing this. It's so therapeutic. At the same time I was painting this, I was listening to a uh, Morecambe and Wise audiobook. I don't know if anyone knows Morecambe and Wise, but they're two very famous comedians. Here I am putting some blue te details on the uh, seashells around, bringing that nautical themes. Lovely cornflower blue slash lilac in there. Put in some more dimension on the rope detail. And then start putting in the base for the scene background. Right, I'm going to leave it there for this evening because uh, I've lost the light now, even though I've got this light here. But it's eight o'clock and I'm starving. So I'm going to carry on with this in the morning. See you then. Good day. It's a very lovely sunny day today and I'm going to carry on with this painting, aren't we Leela? Hmm? I'm going to carry on with the painting. Leela likes to have a bed next to me when I do my painting. Are you ready? Come on in your bed then. In your bed. In your bed. Good girl. Oh. Got our base layers on. Now it's about adding dimension and detail. With watercolours it's more of a patience process because you have to build up in layers. But what's really wonderful is that if you make a mistake it's at least for me it's easily remedied just pop on some extra water on your paintbrush go over it wait for it to dry and try again so this is why i'm putting in the tiny tiny details with some micro pigments you'll see them in the light shimmers they're more metallic pigments like golds and emeralds and they are my absolute favorite to work with We are working on this westerly. I think you see that I make a mistake in the moment, like I mentioned. I'm trying to capture the sail in the background and then realizing that I should probably do the sky before I add that in, probably with pen. And I love doing sunsets. They're so fun with watercolors. I think these colors are really bringing it out. I'm putting in some micro pigment in the hair with that extra shimmer and of course a lovely set of rosy cheeks this guy has a really cool goatee as well so I guys I love painting your beards This is when a piece really comes together for me and it's come to nearly at the end stage of painting which means that I'll go over my pens at the moment and put on those finer finer marks on the page.
Ah, good day. It is now day three of working on this piece and it's going to be finished now so I've just got to go over a pen put in the little details that I can't do with watercolour. So I'm going to be putting some more details on the boat with some etching and then I'm going to be bringing out some more details. Yeah, but see that shimmer of the tannic pigments. I'm really pleased with how it's going. So yeah, let's get started. I think anyone who has a boat is really aware of, of how their boat looks so it was really important to me to get in these tiny details of their ship and just make sure that I stay true to the shape. This is definitely the fun bit for me. There we are, some tiny little extra details. I absolutely love working with surfaces of water. Some lovely lilac there. And I think I'm happy with that at that stage. I've just got to wait for it to dry. Okay, I think it's done. And last but not least, I'm really pleased with how this worked out and I'm really excited to see what they think of it and all there is now is to package it up, post it off and yeah on her way she'll go. If you yourself would like a painting commission done by myself, whether it's a pet portrait, a family portrait, or one of my surprise nautical pieces, pirate ships, or you would like your own ship painted, please let me know at allrights at gmail.com and let's chat about it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please feel free to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you like. I also have a Patreon. Um, patrons receive videos before anyone else. They get to read unpublished blogs that are not released to the public because I don't want my mother to know what goes on inside my head. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. All the best. <laughs>